A long time ago, Darwin came to our island. The stories that he told, well, filled my granddad with wonder. And he told me so that I could tell you. Granddad, have you ever seen a flying tortoise? No, Sam. I don't think I have. Mind you, there are some pretty strange-looking animals out there. Like what, Grandad? Like the very unusual-looking platypus. Once upon a time, a young platypus hatched from his egg and stayed safely in his burrow with his mummy. One morning, however, Peter Platypus woke up to find his mummy wasn't lying next to him. Mummy? Mummy! And when Peter Platypus heard no answer, he decided to set off to find her. The problem was, Peter had never seen his mummy in the daylight. Mummy! Mummy! Oh, I'm not your mummy, little one. I'm a kookaburra. But I have a beak, just like you. <laughs> Maybe so, little one, and it's a beautiful beak. Great for digging up worms and insects under rocks on the riverbed, but you have fur and I have feathers. So I'm definitely not your mummy. Oh, I'll go and find my mummy with fur then. Cheerio. Mummy! Mummy! Me? Mummy? Oh, no, I don't think so, little one. Why, I have fur just like you. Yes, and beautiful fur it is too. Very good for keeping you warm and I'm sure it'll help you swim fast in the water too. But you have webbed feet, which again are great in the water, but my feet are very different. I'll go back to the water and find my mummy with webbed feet then. Cheerio! Mummy! Mummy! What? I'm not your mummy. Why not? I have webbed feet just like you. Yes, yeah, so you do. But you have a long tail. I don't have one like that. Look! <laughs> the crocodile who lives in the river has a long tail. I'll go and see her and see if she's my mummy then. Be careful, little one. Don't get too close. Mummy! Mummy! <sighs> I'm not your mummy. Or your daddy, for that matter. Why? You have a long tail, just like mine. Yeah, but it's very different to yours. And I bet you don't have my sharp teeth to eat things with. You're right, Croc. He doesn't have sharp teeth. But he does have a beak a bit like me and a kookaburra. Fur like kangaroo. Feet like me and a long tail a bit like yours. And this makes him a fine, young platypus. So, a platypus has a poisonous spine behind his leg to defend himself. Ha! I do! I wasn't that hungry anyway. <laughs> Thank you, but how will I find my mummy now? I'm lost. And I don't know my way back. <laughs> ah, well, you obviously live near the river, as you have web feet like me. Sleek fur to help you glide through water. A beak for finding food on the riverbed. And a tail a bit like mine. Why don't you carry on up the river making a noise that your mummy can hear? <coughs> mummy! Mummy! Where have you been? I've looked everywhere for you. You look just like me. Well, of course I do, Peter. I'm your mummy. Now, you must be hungry. Wow, a platypus is really strange. I think it would be pretty cool to have parts of different animals. So which part of which animal would you like? I want the wings of an eagle so I can fly, a giraffe's neck so I can eat those leaves up there, and I want camel's legs so I can walk in the desert. Looking like that, where would be the perfect place for you to live? Hmm...